What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Day B. You're watching Day B on TV, where we go beyond that everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. And today it's time for the energetic overview. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been away for a while, just filming the um, Soul Group Festival and things of that nature. Right now, I'm chopping up the footage and shit like that. I'm gonna drop something later today. Well, this, this will probably come out after I already drop it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're looking for it, it's gonna be on uh, my Millview Media. YouTube page, so the full episode is going to be on that page. Um, I might do like a little teaser here just to let y'all know that it's, it's going to be over there again, just to remind y'all and shit like that. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Also, I got a beat tape coming out. Uh, I said a beat tape. A beat tape coming out uh, <laughs> to, uh, well, on my birthday, so it's going to be like midnight on tomorrow night. Yeah, midnight tomorrow night at midnight, so it's going to be on the 13th and shit like that. You know, it's just something, you know, it's going to be something real cool, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all want my voice on the beat. I know y'all probably want me to rap and shit like that, but trust me, I've been writing and, and like right now I'm, I'm back in that writing mode, that creative mode, that hermit mode, album mode, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm locked in all the way, so um, you know, a lot more content coming. Um, and I told y'all I, I want to get more um more films together, more skits and things that like things of that nature and shit like that. So y'all gonna be seeing a lot more content in the uh, in the upcoming uh, season. You know what I'm saying? When every season hits, especially that's when we going all the fuck in. You know, and that's kind of what I want to talk about in this energetic overview because um you know before I look at the actual planets right now, um well I, I peeked at them just now. Um the sun currently is about twenty degrees Pisces, right? So now it's in the third deacon, and if you don't know what a deacon is, this is like you can call it like a, um, if you ever play like Call of Duty or something, it's like a perk, right? It's like a perk for the sun. So if the sun, whatever sign the sun is, you know that that sun is uh, a, a specific modality, you know what I'm saying? So the sun right now is in Pisces from zero to 10 degrees of a sign. It's, it's like the perk is an extra emphasis on that energy. So zero to 10 degrees of Pisces would be a Pisces with a Pisces perk. So this is the more the Pisces who are more into uh, who are more uh, dreamlike the the Pisces who are more you know into their creativity um, the Pisces who are more uh, into their emotions and feelings the the highly psychic Pisces and things of that nature right and then we go uh, when we hit the ten to twenty degrees this is the second deacon and in the second deacon this would be having like a and then so what you do is since Pisces right the next modality from Pisces on the chart would be cancer, you know what I'm saying, because cancer is that fourth house, you going from the 12th to the fourth house when you get to the, the next water sign, so the 10 to 20 degrees of uh, Pisces would have a cancer perk, so this is the more uh, Pisces who like to um, initiate their feelings, they like to, instead of the first deacon who likes to, who's really good at connection and being psychic, the um, second uh, deacon Pisces is more uh, into directing their uh, vibrations, and they, they might be the ones who are a lot more um, put together, um, put together in the sense of not easily flustered, they're, they're the ones who are going to initiate what they feel and push that onto others rather than, you know, a, a, a first deacon Pisces who allows things to hit them first and then they kind of are more passive, you know what I'm saying? And of course, other alignments play into this, but I'm just talking about the sun sign specifically, you know what I'm saying? And you can use this for, you can, you can use this deacon thing for every, um, because all signs have these three deacons, you can use this for other planets, but I'm just talking about the sun right now. So, but whatever planet you use and that's how you would filter that. So, the, you know, second deacon Pisces will have more of that cancer perk, uh, uh, more of the initiator of how they feel. They connect, right? They hit that Pisces energy, but they have that extra emphasis to make them say, well, I know how also how to direct my emotions and feelings. So these are the more maybe um, leader-like Pisces, you know what I'm saying? Pisces who are not afraid to kind of put themselves out there a little bit more or to stir the water uh, a little bit more. And then finally, the um, last deacon would be uh, Scorpio. So um, this is like my deacon, like like on some real shit. Like, like so my birthday is on the 13th and that's when the um, moon is actually going to pass the sun on some new moon shit. And then also... Uh, the sun will be at my birth degree, so I, I'm, I'm 23 degrees Pisces and shit like that. Um, that's the fixed star, uh, Markov, you know what I'm saying? This is like the wing of Pegasus and shit like that. So a lot of that that energy is going to be playing out, and this is the energy I carry uh, naturally and shit like that. So, you know, I'm feeling really good, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling really, um, really, really just tapped in, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to say powerful. I, I feel powerful as well, but really just tapped in and um, kind of just in sync, you know what I'm saying? Like, th this... This Soul Group Festival, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all now, I'm going I'm to do a separate video talking about it specifically, but when I tell you it was a, um, 
it was a wonderful experience, like truly and genuinely. I'm I'm so grateful to be a part of that, like to um you know and then not only be a part of it but to capture it. You know what I'm saying? Like that we did. I mean, I, I'll talk more about it in the other video, but just the, the group of people that actually showed up and, you know, and, and best believe if you weren't able to show up, like we, we held space for you as well. But like, you know, for the people who showed up and shit like that, we, we had a lot of, um, first of all, it was surreal, you know, seeing everybody in person and shit like that, meeting for the first time. Um, and secondly, it was, um, it was remarkable. Everyone had high vibrations and, and for that entire period of time, I swear I was just in a meditative state and, um. You know, it was just very, um, very genuine, very um, nur nurturing, nourishing, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, getting back to this uh, shit, we're going we gonna to dive right in. So, like I said, you know, so we we at, we at 20 degrees Pisces right now. So, we we heading into the last deacon. So, this is the Pisces who uh, have the perk of Scorpio. This is the more, um, this is the phase of the sun uh, of the Pisces where um, we get a lot more transformative. We get a lot more selfish, um, selfish in the sense of just having our minds fixated on our own transformation and understanding what it is that we need to transform and put death to. This is the more warlike Pisces, the more Pisces who are um, strategic and, and, and a little more um, reserved as far as how they go about um, expressing themselves. But at the same time, you know, um, very confident um, and very, uh, very, uh, you know, just kind of like, mm, what's the best way? You know, kind of, I want to say like fly on the wall type, more observant, more quiet, you know what I'm saying? More quiet and um, concentrated. And that concentration, uh, I think, it, it is playing out a big part in this uh, phase that we're going through. Because as this new moon hits, you know what I'm saying? So when the new moon hits, um, it's really going to be a situation when... Um, like these are going to be new dreams. So, you know, wherever you have Pisces at, this is where you're going to feel this newness. And basically, um, this is the last new moon of the actual year. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about the Zodiac year and shit like that. So what this is saying is that, look, you are here to put together the final pieces, uh, it, you know, the final pieces of your dream or reconstruct a dream, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, create a new dream. In, in a sense, because, you know, in the last one, I was talking about how, you know, we have the final pieces now. So that time period until now, you know, that that Virgo full moon was very, uh, very intense. And a lot of the energies that followed afterwards was us kind of picking up the pieces again, picking up the pieces and starting to restructure how we even wanted to go about this life. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, after last year and shit like that, when the government started to uh, reconstruct uh, society in a sense, right, um, all of us were left to our own devices to basically come out um, come out with something new. It's like we were left with our own devices to come up with a new way of going about uh, this this new world that was being built, right? Um, and throughout that time, we learned a lot. We we hurt a lot. We we transformed a lot. And now we've come to a point where we are completely new. In we are completely new beings than we once were. Um, this time last year, you are not the same person. And I mean, we transform every day. You know, you you not the same person you was yesterday. Neither am I. Um, but if you are looking at a long-term transformation, you you might as well. A lot of people I know have done complete 180s. I've done uh, in my own life a complete 180 where a lot of the dreams that I was set in this time last year, um, I'm completely um, refreshed and re reprogrammed on, um, on some other shit this time. So, you know, a lot of us might be going through something like that where um, now we're just, we, we, we are completely prepared to be engulfed in a new dream. And that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing. And so, you know, this is going to be the energy that we utilize to springboard ourselves into that Aries energy. So right now, you know, right now um, you might be feeling a little um, antsy or just prepared, like just ready to change. And in a lot of ways, I feel as though it's best to start that transformation now. It's best to start doing those things now because, um, you know, it's just like when people talk about New Year's resolutions. Yeah, Um it, it's a beautiful idea to say, oh, on the first of the, the, the first day of the new year, I'm going to wake up and I'm just going to do I'm just going to be new and I'm going to do my new routines. But the, the, the fact of the matter is routines take time to develop. You know, Virgo taught us that 
routines don't aren't something that you just wake up and change. You know, they start with the mindset and the feelings and emotions, and then you know you have to put some form of action in play, and you also have to take away something. You have to sacrifice something. Um, so right now, consider what you want to sacrifice. You know. Pisces with the with the inf with the um in the third deacon with a, a perk of uh Scorpio it's like look it Scorpio energy is all about sacrifice right now so it's all about trying to find like your new dream and figuring out what it is you want to let go of because a along with this Scorpio this uh, last deacon of Pisces it's also um the beginning of a new year so these going to be new beginnings that so keep that in mind you don't want to start a new beginning with a lot of old shit on your table you know what i'm saying that's not gonna you know in a lot of ways uh, and this is how a lot of us uh fall victim to um it's not really addiction but we fall victim to our own cycles because we don't develop um that mindset to take away something in order to replace it with something because you know uh, a lot of this life is about fulfillment and unfulfillment our spirit is always trying to fulfill something we are always in search of fulfillment and um when something is fulfilled um something else is not fulfilled and so this becomes the, that whole balancing act that we experience as spirits just trying to keep all the cups balanced and shit like that you know what i'm saying but you know perfect balance perfection doesn't really exist there's always going to be one cup that's slightly lower than the other and you know the better magician you are the better wizard you are or which you know what i'm saying that's the better you know how to you know, jump in different cups and, and do different things and whatever it is that you do in order to keep everything balanced. You know what I'm saying? That's the mark of a powerful spirit when you can be balanced in 99.9% in, in of situations, you know what I'm saying? Because it's very hard, you know, everything in this world is trying to influence us. And with that influence, that fluid, it's always a, a matter of something being either thrown onto us. Like, you know, we live in a world where a lot of people don't know how to handle their own emotions. And so the first thing they do is dump their waters on somebody else, whether it be a loved one, someone they have memories with or someone they're connected to or just a complete stranger. Just because um, not a lot of people are spiritually inclined down here, uh, you know, like we make up, you know, less than one percent. of the world. Now, some of the world is waking up, but it's still um, you got to keep in mind that. Um, anything mainstream and spirituality right now is becoming mainstream, you know, being conscious and being awake and awoke, you know what I'm saying? But we, we are part of the subconscious community because, you know, like I said, anything that starts to become mainstream and starts to get a lot of attention, um, nine times out of 10, it's being used as an agenda. Um, just because of the nature of how this world works, you know, the people who run the world know that everything is about influence. And that's why, like, you know, uh, the new age uh, celebrity is an influencer on Instagram and social media. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these influencers just be ops, glorified ops. You know what I'm saying? They be glorified ops, motherfuckers. They don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? But they here on a platform and they're given all the resources to look like somebody who knows what they're talking about. But we know better than anybody that just because something looks like... Like uh, something works for somebody or just because something, you know, just because something works or has a lot of attention does not mean that it's the right thing to do. And especially not the right thing to do for you. You know, we all got to be individuals out this motherfucker. So, you know, we got to keep that in mind, too. So um, just get to kind of keep the ball rolling. Um, I want to talk about Mars real quick. Mars is coming through real quick. And, and the reason is because now our passions are moving. And, you know, for a long time, we was in that Taurus mode. So that's also adding to that anticipation energy that we're all probably feeling right now, where we want to get up and we want to um, socialize and interact with a lot of different people right now. Um, when it comes to our passions, we want to talk about our passions. We want to show people what we're passionate about or what we've been working towards. So, um, you know, this is a this is a good thing. But we it's a square with the, uh, the current sun right now. So we're trying to learn how to do that right now. And that's OK, because like I said, we're in the last deacon of Pisces. Very soon it's going to be a sextile, which is an opportunity with uh, Aries, the sun moving into Aries. And that's when um, a lot more clarity is going to become because see fire signs. What I admire about fire signs, um, they get a lot of flack for being aggressive and uh, being uh, harsh and being uh, loud and you know but what i enjoy about fire signs is they're very direct and they um are clear they're um they provide clarity they're 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 not 
some a lot of them aren't the type of individuals who, who hide things. They put everything in the forefront. Therefore, things become more clear when fire is in the air. You know, things become more clear. You're able to see a little bit with with, with more conviction and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? When the sun is in water, um, you see one thing, but it can be a million different things. When when, when the sun is in uh, air, um, there's nothing that, you know, you can see, but oftentimes... Um, things can get cloudy because there's too many thoughts about what you're seeing. And when the sun is in earth, sometimes you can't help but see all the obstacles in the way. Sometimes uh, your vision is blocked by what's right in front of you. But when 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 the sun is in in fire, um, there's a sense of clarity. Uh, you know, fire burns through things and also provides light. So you know, there's a lot more clarity. So you know, if you're worried about your passions right now, try not to worry. Try not, because that worrying energy. Um, you know, uh, Mars is in Gemini and Gemini is with Mercury. So Mars will start to overthink. You'll start to overthink your passions. And um, whenever you're overthinking your passions, this is when Mercury and Mars don't get along. You know, that's when, uh, you know, Mercury starts to uh, annoy Mars and start with Mars, st Mars starts to beat up on Mercury. So this is like, you know, if you had a younger brother, right, say, you, you know what I'm saying? Because Mars is like the, the, the little brother. Right. Mars is like the, the, the big brother, I'll say the big brother who's in high school. Mercury is like the little brother who's uh, maybe in kindergarten or, you know, just that age where you just want to run around, talk and interact with the world and learn a bunch of different things. But, you know, imagine if Mars is trying to focus on something in his room, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I was going to say something, but I, I go take it there. I ain't going to take it to the eighth house. Right. But let's say Mars is trying to do something in his room. Right. But here come Mercury knocking on the door every three seconds. Like, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um. Um, you know, Mars is going to get pissed up and, and start to beat up on Mercury. Um, so this is like our passions. You know, we can ha we can be at um, at uh, a war between our passions. And we might overthink uh, about our passions to the point where we exhaust ourselves before we even participate in whatever it is that we're trying to actually um, do and manifest. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to cause that situation for yourself. Um Especially not with all this ripe energy, you know, there's a lot of ripe energy in the, in the air, you know, uh, energy that's ripe for the for the picking, for the taking. So, you know, we want to make sure that we are uh, fully aware and taking advantage of this time period. So and then also Mars is going to soon uh, start to link up closer to the uh, North Node. So our passions, um, you know, overthinking right now can definitely take away from um, your sense of clarity. And when Mars actually does get to the North Node, um, this is when you actually have the opportunity for your passions to align with your spiritual path. But if you're too busy overthinking or maybe like right now, because like right now Mars is still learning from the sun in Pisces. So Mars is still learning the rest of the um, Mars is learning like the logistics of the dream in a sense, you know, like figuring out, OK, this is the dream, but like. How can I communicate this in a way that can make sense? How can I communicate in this in a way that many different people can get the idea? And that's that's essential, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, everything is a progression. So, you know, the, the, the seeds we plant today, um, we got to make sure we are bearing good fruit for tomorrow so that we have the strength to... Um, plant more good seeds you know what i'm saying if you plant ketchup you you won't even have the nourishment to be in the right mind state and feeling the uh emotions to to plant the better seeds for the next day you know what i'm saying so we gotta we gotta it, it, you know you gotta like when you really tap in and shit like that you gotta make sure that you on point every step of the way you know but we all fall short and so it's nothing to be afraid of or ashamed of it's just something to understand and you know the more you aware in the first place the more the easier and quicker you'll be able to readjust yourself whenever you get thrown off course you know shout out to Eric Badu, you know, with uh, didn't you know, you know, sometimes, uh, what was the lyric go, you know, time to change the world, where in the world is all the time, so many things that we don't know, so many times I changed my mind, when I was born to make mistakes, but I ain't scared to take away, so when I stumble off the path, I know my heart will grab me back, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I had to tap into that real quick. But real shit, you know, that's one of my favorite songs, too. Um, and shit like that. But real shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, we, we all got to kind of trust our heart right now. And that's been kind of, I know that's been hard for some of y'all because with Pisces energy, you know, things ain't what it seems. And then on top of that, let's, let's, let me look at this chart real quick. On top of that, you know, we got, um, 
We got Venus here in general. Uh, oh, we got the sun going over uh, Neptune right now. So right now, definitely, definitely, or I'll say infinitely. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm trying to change up my, my lingo a little bit to, um, you know what I'm saying? Because this language be, you know, causing us to have spells on ourselves. But I'm going to say infinitely. You know what I'm saying? The sun is uh, moving through um, Neptune right now. So with that, you know, we, we all in La La Land, even if you are the most realistic person in the world, we're all experiencing um, illusions um, and dreams. You know what I'm saying? But if you're on the better side of it, these illusions will... Um, be ones that actually help you and provide you with um, inspiration and, and provide you with um, uh, freedom, you know what I'm saying, freedom and also extra emphasis on creativity, you know, your imagination could be the most potent right now. Um, on the flip side, though, if you on the on the on the wrong side of energy, you know you could be setting yourself up for failure by kind of participating too heavily into illusions right now. So you know we got to be really careful on what we're associating with, especially with all this energy in the twelfth house dealing with um, Aquarius and shit like that. You know, and I still got to drop that um, that video. I'm going to try to chop it up before I got to go because I got to hit the road today. Um, hopefully, I get to see some soul group in, uh, in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to link up with some people down there. But um, aside from that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got to keep that in mind, too. So with the sun moving through um, Neptune, try not to associate yourself with too many different people. Try not to get psyched up. Try not to agree to any new, uh, you know, try not to agree to things too fast. You know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, and, you know, I want to say unless you feel a, a, a strong emotional um, confirmation, like on some intuition shit, you know what I'm saying? But even if in that case, you know, you just want to make sure you're extra cautious with everything you're committing to right now. Because, you know, as the sun uh, leaves Neptune, um, those rose tinted glasses are going to start to fall off our face. You know what I'm saying? And also Venus is in Pisces right now. So there's also an extra emphasis on um you know, rose colored glasses where, you know, we, we got to be very careful not to get too, um, overly influenced, you know what I'm saying? Overly, uh, influenced by our desires or, or overly influenced by our pleasures right now. Cause our pleasures are probably going crazy right now. So, you know, it, it actually will benefit you more to, uh, practice discernment and practice discipline right now, because even though, you know, this is the time to indulge, uh, we can easily overindulge and see when, when, when you practice, um, some form of discipline, um, you end up, it's like that's when you really using the planets as your your bitch, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you got to do in this world. You got to use these planets and not let them use you. So you know that Venus is exalted right now. So when it comes to pleasures, you ex you by you um showing the universe that you have a form of discipline, but you still um are you know you're not looking at that discipline as oh like as a tragedy. You looking at it as nah, I just don't need it right now. The universe will start to recognize you as a powerful spirit and start to want to rock you to sleep. So they'll give you more, and you'll end up receiving a lot more pleasures. But it'll be in a way where you know you'll have a lot more control over what's being given, and, and a lot more control over um. Yeah, it's like you rock the planet to sleep. You rock the universe to sleep. And you can use that energy to manifest whatever it is that you want. You know, and you already know new moon time is manifest manifestation time. So, you know, even me personally, I like leading up to now, I've been in more so the uh protection bag. But soon as um soon as the sun, um well right now the sun is like one I mean the moon is one degrees uh Pisces right now. So with the moon here I'm already getting my mind and shit in my mind to start, you know, writing down my intentions and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, getting my manifestations ready so that when the, you know, when the, when the moon actually does link up with the sun and passes and we have the new moon moment, you know, I'll actually be on the right track, you know what I'm saying, so that's just something to keep in mind right now, but for the most part, um, what I was saying, mm, 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 mm. still tired from that trip, man, that shit, Got my ass, bro. but um, we getting back into the mode. Um, but yeah, getting back into it. So let me look at the uh, chart again. So yeah, that's the energy going on in Pisces right now. And so all this energy as well um, is uh, sextiling with Pluto. You know, we can't forget that, and also sextiling with Uranus. So you know, this just adds to the emphasis uh, that right now, man, we we are going through a tremendous transformation. You know what I'm saying? Both a, 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 a um, a uh, dramatic uh, death from Pluto and a quick, a lot of quick changes from uh, Uranus, you know, um, and we're moving, you know what I'm saying, the moon is closer to Uranus than, um, but anyway, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm as far as a um, sex tile goes, but um, I don't want to get too confusing about that. You know what I'm saying? Because I like now I'm looking at like these days when I look at astrology and shit, I be paying a lot more attention to uh, specific degrees and the specific the specific alignment of certain planets. You know what I'm saying? And you know when planets are like if something's eight degrees and something's like you know uh, twenty one degrees it might not actually make the alignment, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we do it, you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm, 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 that's why I was like kind of stuttering right there, but just to keep things simple and keep the, the, the ball rolling, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, you know, make it simple. Um, but yeah, so a lot of transformations, um, that seem, you know, like the end of the world, but you know, if you, if you've been riding the energies the right way, you shouldn't have anything too heavy on your plate. You know, now everybody is in their own situation. So you might, you very well might have something heavy on your plate. And if you do, um, it's best to see how you can transform yourself out of that. And keep in mind that, like, say you're in a situation where it seems almost impossible to um, separate. Um, something interesting, and shout out to uh, Flex the Dog, you know what I'm saying? Quasi uh, Universe, go ahead, subscribe to him. Um, but, you know, he had pointed out, well, he was just kind of talking about uh, Jupiter and Aquarius right now. Now, with Jupiter and Aquarius, we want to experience, what we want to experience is freedom. Um, but we might not actually, uh, right now, you know, that Pisces energy might not have us, might not give us the, um, the oomph to express the fact that we actually need a little more space right or a lot more space right now freedom we need our own freedom right now jupiter right now is the planet of experiences and wisdom and knowledge and things of that nature and right now for jupiter to rock it needs to be in a space where it can be free to free to go wherever it wants to go mentally you know what i'm saying so you know a lot of us might be experiencing situations where we feel like we can't get out of a certain situation or we can't get out of a uh, whether it be a partnership a relationship wherever you have um Aquarius that might be an indicator as to, you know, where you might be feeling this energy specifically. But, you know, all this shit is like, we got to keep in mind that, you know, uh, first of all, we got to speak up, you know what I'm saying? And not be afraid to um, get ourselves out of situations that at one point looked like the right thing to be in. But now that we've, that, that we're in transformation and we've gone through changes, like if you said something ain't right no more for you, you need to let it be known. You know what I'm saying? You need to let it be known and, um, you know, try to just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Because also, uh, and then we, we also got Saturn in um, Aquarius right now. So this is a restructuring of everything going on in that Aquarius house. You know what I'm saying? Um, with our networks in general, you know, with our network, with our uh, mentality. Or mentality, you know what I'm saying? A lot of this energy is stemming off of the uh, the new mentality we built when the new moon was in um, Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember that? Now we filled that cup up with uh, feelings and emotions. Now you know we preparing to drink the cup. You know what I'm saying? Right now we 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 it's like we got the cup and shit like that. We about to drink the cup and juice ourselves up. That's that's really what this point is now. You know, it's like dr drinking that 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 cup. You know what I'm saying? And um. As you know, because the new moon in, in Pisces, you know, we still dealing with that water uh, element. So it's the it's the idea of that liquid and th those emotions and feelings that we've been, you know, now it's like we're about to put that shit in the cup and then drink it. You know what I'm saying? And then with that energy that we ingest uh, when when the full moon in uh, Libra hits. You know, that'll be that'll be after the new year and shit like that. So we'll already be um, moving and putting ourselves out there. But, the you know, full moon in Aquarius, I mean, I said Aquarius, full moon in Libra, you know, that's just kind of a testament to saying, you know, we should be satisfied with um, all that we've done externally after. You know what I'm saying? Because it's almost like it's almost like as we in, like, you know, and I, I, matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm probably say that for um, just when I do the moon. Um, transit video and shit like that you know what i'm saying when i have all the moon phases leading up to the actual libra uh full moon you know what i'm saying so uh, i'm gonna save that part for that you know what i'm saying just because it'll be a lot more clear and things like that nature. I, don't, I have a concept in my mind but i don't want to get it too um too mixed up in what we're talking about right now just with the energies in general um so let's let's keep going let me see so yeah we got a lot of this energy going on and um Aquarius. So there's a restructuring right now going on as well, you know, and um, these things are trying in the Mars. So Mars right now um, is in a position where it can really help us to, um, you know, we have a gift there where our passions will 
it's like we should be listening to our passions and Jupiter kind of wants us to follow um, our passions in a, in a lot of ways. It's like, like we, we need freedom. Like Jupiter's like, look, look, we got to be free. We got to be free to express, like to, to express ourselves and experience in this area of life. Mars is over here preparing and like, you know, all these different signs that are kind of in these air, like that are kind of trining because, you know, it's, it's Mars and the North Node trining, um, trining Jupiter, Saturn and Mercury. So, you know, these, all these elements are in the same accord. And these are very core when we start talking about, you know, our spiritual path. You know what I'm saying? So right now we have a very big emphasis and on our spiritual path, but it's going to come in the form of conversations. It's going to come in the form of us thinking and thinking through the legit, thinking through the logistics. You know what I'm saying? But we have to have mental clarity. And part of having mental clarity, Jupiter needs is space. It needs a space to travel. Um, but mentally, you know what I'm saying? And, and Saturn needs to be able to clear the way, you know, Saturn, we already know like Saturn is that bulldozer, but you know, it's also the builder. And, and so it's a two part series, you know what I'm saying? Or probably more parts than two, but two parts. And the first part, like right now, as it's like just now, you know, cause it's about what, eight degrees. Let me see. Yeah. Saturn is nine degrees. So Saturn is like still kind of in that bulldozing process where we're just now getting rid of the structures and the old things that don't longer serve us in this area. But we still ciphering through it. You know, then we still cipher, sipping, sipping through it. I don't, I don't know the right term, <laughs> but fuck it. Um, but we still going through it. You know what I'm saying? We still going through that process of de destroying everything that was once structured in this area of life that we now know is not going to serve us in this new structure, in this new world that we're building. Um, this new lifetime that we're building. So we got to keep this in mind. So, you know, <coughs> give Saturn some time, but don't be afraid to get rid of these things and don't be alarmed as these different things become less, less, less either um, accessible to you or you accessible to it. Because that's what I'm also experiencing now. A lot of people who used to be able to just pick up the phone and call me, I, I don't even have the energy to really respond. So it's not even like, um, I'm trying to ignore you. It's like, uh, or a lot of times it just be me doing a bunch of shit and just not having the time to pay attention to that. Um, but this is how it should be. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be trying to run to the old familiar things just because it's familiar. We have to keep moving, um, forward, you know what I'm saying? And, um, not to get lost in directions, but we have to keep moving in the direction that our spirit needs to move. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because if we don't, we are, we, we will always suffer the consequences um, of that. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind right now. So, you know, keep in mind that Saturn right now is bulldozing everything going on in your Aquarius house. And Jupiter is in search of new experiences in this area and needs freedom, especially mental freedom, freedom to construct its own mind about something, freedom to be an individual. And a lot of us are in situations now where that might be hindered. So don't be afraid, you know, don't be afraid to step out of that because, you know, what we're on track to build um, this is new and it, 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 it has the potential to actually fulfill you um, in the in the best ways, you know what I'm saying, if you plant in the right seeds and shit like that, if you're looking at it from the right perspective. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so the moon is here. So this is how we're going to feel. Our moon, uh, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're dealing with um, emotions and feelings, but also dreams, imaginations, and, you know, right? Oh, also with all this Pisces energy, man, don't doubt yourself. And that's another thing, too. Don't doubt yourself because uh, Pisces energy can bring a lot of self-doubt. Um, this is the worst time to doubt yourself. So if you doubt yourself, yeah, you fucking up. Change that mind state. Change that mind state right now. I don't care how shitty you think your work looks change the mind state because right now you know what i'm saying pisces first of all brings a lot of that energy to you and second of all um being uh down on yourself and doubting yourself isn't going to do anything to help so you know it's best to kind of just say fuck that feeling and emotion it's useless self-doubt is useless it's it's fucking useless it does nothing but get in your way and a lot of times you know there's somebody in the world who is amazed by whatever it is that you think is some bullshit that you created you know what i'm saying so have pride in that shit you know it's hard to have pride and um you know because pride comes from the ego comes from the sun and when the sun is in pisces the ego is, is dissolved so it's hard to to have pride in what you do and create but Trust that your imagination is worthy, you know what I'm saying? And if, if you feel like you need more work to do, you have more work to do, commit to that, you know what I'm saying? Commit to that and set and start to set the intent for this new moon to manifest, um, 
to manifest that, you know, to manifest that improvement. And that improvement is going to take you right into the sun and Aries. And that is all the confidence you're going to need. And you're going to experience the biggest confidence boost in your life. You know, you might just be the type of person who experiences um, an extreme improvement overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like most improved. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm saying that right. That award that's like the most, most improved in here. Huh. Uh, but anyway. So, you know, I just had to say that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, and then, you know, so, and also, you know, just a, a word of, um, just a foreshadowing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be, be aware that uh, we about to hit Chiron. We be aware that we about to hit Chiron and that right now, um, you know, there's a lot of sextiles going on. So, so, so Chiron is making aspects with um, Mars opportunities for us to make mistakes with our passions and also um opportunities to make mistakes when it comes to our spiritual path as well um also and let me talk about this first so right but but see the thing about chiron is you look you can't be afraid to make mistakes in this world in this life these these alignments is actually beneficial for you because when you make mistakes along your spiritual path, your spiritual path represents something that's completely unfamiliar to you. You've not experienced it yet. You're, you're, you're traveling. That's why these are the most uncomfortable moments because you haven't yet experienced it. This shit is new to you. So you're supposed to make mistakes and that's actually good. You know, so don't be afraid of them. Um, take them in stride, but keep aware of what's actually going on so that you can catch the lessons. And these lessons are going to be things that are going to help you develop more confidence as you continue to tra go along your journey and shit like that. So, you know, this is actually a good alignment just in the sense of, you know, you can go through a lot of development, but you just can't be afraid to go out and commit these mistakes because it's going to happen sooner or later anyway. So running from it is pointless, you know what I'm saying? And developing self-doubt from it, like I said, that's useless. So it's like, you know, in this lifetime, this life is already hard. This life is already dense. Don't make it worse for yourself. Make it work for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't make it worse. Make it work. And so you make it work by, you know, just developing better thoughts and feelings about whatever it is that you got to go through and, and just admit and um, uh, admit uh, that's not the right word. Uh, accept the fact that you about to just go through some shit and you got to make those mistakes and you got to make those stumbles and fall. And it's just something that has to be done um, in order to get you from point A to point B efficiently. Um, and then on the other side of that sextile, there's also opportunities. Um you to make mistakes when it comes to how you think, um, your experiences, um, and also uh, Saturn. So these are also good placements, I feel like, for mistakes as well. You know, thinking um, the, the, the Mercury, you know what I'm saying, Mercury gets tricky though because Mercury can get very frustrating. Um, I feel like almost this this could be like a, a, a bit of a retrograde like energy maybe, you know, where you might experience thought forms that take you on a ride to experience a mistake that you used to um, fall for. Um, and so you kind of have to, you know, with Mercury specifically, sextile, uh, sextile and Chiron, you want to make sure that you are um, just being aware and not allowing yourself to think too hard about, you know, but but make sure that you are being aware of where you make the same mental mistake and start to um, try to, you know, change that, you know, to try to change that mentality or, or go the extra mile to um, switch up your thoughts and feelings about or your thoughts, you know what I'm saying, your thoughts about uh, a mistake you're about to make, you know what I'm saying, just be aware of the mistakes that you make mentally, and, you know, try to not fall victim into overthinking, and also just, because, you know, our, our mind be, our mind is tricky, our mind is powerful, so whatever the mind is on, that's what you're paying attention to, so, you know, you gotta keep, you gotta keep that in mind, right, you know what I'm saying, you gotta keep that in mind that, you know, whatever it is that you are focusing on and paying attention to and thinking about is ultimately what's going to start to develop right in front of you. And then you start to generate emotions and feelings from these things. And, you know, what I'm saying, but, it, you know, it really be the emotions and feelings that generate the images and shit like that. But how you think about something is how it'll take shape. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure that we not just allowing ourselves to think anything. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep our minds clear. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, try not to fall victim to mental mistakes like um, just thinking too hard or thinking you know everything or thinking you know something about somebody that you actually don't know um, or thinking that, you know, assuming information. You know what I'm saying? You might have to do a little more research these these days. You know what I'm saying? Also, uh, gossip. Stop being around people who talk about bullshit all day. And this is a big one, uh, especially for me. Um, but, you know, 
the conversations you're around right now. These things can alter your, your spiritual path or just, you know, it can create opportunities for you to make other mistakes in other areas and shit like that. Because I look at it like that thing, you know, that that's an opportunity for you to make that mistake. But that mistake is also another opportunity to play out in that um, in Mars, in the North Node, in any of the other planets that are sextiling Chiron at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Everything's kind of branching off. And so, like, you know, there's a bunch of different things that could kind of play out like that. Um, you know, basically just using that alignment as a stargate to just, uh, to affect you in many different ways, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how I look at it, like, you know, just spirits without a body, demons or whatever you want to call it, when we get spiritually attacked, all they're doing is riding alignments and because that's all they can do. They can't really generate physical shit from where they're at, so they have to utilize uh, influence and they have to utilize uh things that are going on behind the scenes they have to utilize the alignments in order to affect you in order to make you react and respond in order to give you and then once you react and respond you give them uh your energy once you pay attention to the shit that's pissing you off or the shit that's frustrating you you give whatever entity that caused that disruption the, the, the energy you give them energy so we got to be important you got to be aware of that as well you know what i'm saying um and a lot of us could be carrying a lot of entities and shit like that. That's why we we always feel like anything we do is out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta we gotta be careful about all of that shit. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so um, also mistakes with our experiences. So you know, make sure you like I said, you know, um, go through these experiences. Don't have too much on your mind. Like don't 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 fix it. Your you know, like it's like don't close off your mind. Uh, Fixed air is, is interesting because it's like, you know, um, it's a, it's, a, it's it's like fixed air. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, air is not fixed. Air is not solid. So, you know, there has to be a sense of fluidity there. So try not to um, develop any mentalities that close you off to experiencing certain things just because you... Um, just because you want to um, prejudge it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't try not to develop any mentalities that immediately restrict you. Um, from experiencing something that you actually might need to experience, you know, allow Saturn to bulldoze things that don't serve you, allow Jupiter to, you know, influence you to be free in that area and actually, you know, be open to learn and to experience things going on in that area of life um, in order to accumulate wisdom and knowledge and um, allow your mind to, to, to calculate, but be at ease, you know what I'm saying, mind, your mind, uh, you know, I'm talking about mercury and things of that nature, so you can have clarity, you know what I'm saying, right now is a good time for, you know, any kind of meditation where you can really clear your mind out, um, just because you, you want those airways cleaned up, you know what I'm saying, you want those airways cleaned up, because, you know, we in a water and a air time right now, you know, water and uh, Pisces and Aquarius, right, it, Pisces and Aquarius is kind of tricky, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of a, um, a dream, but the dream has so many, uh, so much uh, logistics in it that it makes sense, but it's still a dream, and so it's like, and then air and water share that there but not there type of feel, you know what I'm saying, like there but not there. Um, it's not like earth, which is solid, and it's not like fire, which will burn you, you know what I'm saying, where you can feel the intensity, and you're like, like, that's where the clarity comes from, it's like, oh, you know, it, the clarity, it's like clarity from a feeling, like, if that makes sense, but um, earth is like, of course, physicality, but air and uh, water, they're both uh, cool in temperature, um, but they're also very fluid, you know what I'm saying, no matter how hard they try to be about something, they're very fluid anyway, you know what I'm saying, so... Um, yeah. Uh, let me think. Is there anything else? Anything else? So, you know, keep, keep that in mind. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's the gist, you know what I'm saying, for the most part, like, about what's going on right now. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. I know these usually be an hour. I love when they're when they an hour and, like, 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, shit, nigga, we going in, you know what I'm saying? So when it's less than an hour, I'll be like, damn, like, I got I got to do more, you know what I'm saying? But, nah, I, I really honestly feel like that, that's all I really had to say. Um. You know, because this, this time period, man, it's all about experiencing anyway, you know what I'm saying? And so right now, you know, go ahead, commit to that dream, you know what I'm saying? Commit to that dream and start putting things in play now, um, especially as, as the new moon kicked in. Because, like, the new moon setting off for the sun in um, Aries, like, that's actually perfect because we're right in the swing of manifesting. So, you know, utilize this new moon energy to get up off your ass and actually start putting work in. And that way, when the sun does hit, you out, you out, you 
out. You know what I'm saying? You already building. You already 10 steps ahead of the game while everybody else thinks it's motherfucking uh, three months in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else think, oh, we're four months in. Ah, so now I should start taking my life seriously. It's like, nah. So we, we tapped in way before it was even... Before he was even uh, in play, you know what I'm saying? We already in the, in the, in the, in the tide, in the vibration, in the, in the move, um, in the vibe, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, 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 yeah know what I'm saying, but we already tapped in, you know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, like for the most part, yo, just stay strong out here, man. Because like, you know, like times are still crazy. Weirdos are still out. But here's the thing, man. When you focused on your own path, I'm going to tell you right now, you probably already experiencing it too. When you in your bag, ain't nobody can fuck with you. Like it doesn't matter what nobody's saying right now. And like, I, I love this feeling because, you know, lately it's just been feeling like I have been feeling that freedom, that sense of freedom. Like, you know, I can just do what I want. I can just do me and I'm always going to reap the benefits. And that's really how it is. But, you know, we just got to keep that. That balance, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you keep in balance. Make sure you um, uh, doing meditations for clairvoyance and shit like that. And just, you know, don't dwell on anything that's going to take you uh, off your path. You know, I made a post today um, just kind of saying, you know, right now is the perfect time to break uh, emotional cycles that we, we partake in that take us into negative states of beings and manifest more chaos for us. It's like, look, no, stop. Let's break those emotional um, cycles. Like, right with all this water energy, like I said, the sun and moon is in Pisces. Look, this is the best time to create a new way of feeling and dealing with your emotions and feelings. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, you know, right now, so right now, it's just like, you know, use this time wisely. And any emotional cycles that pop up right now, especially regarding love and relationships and shit like that, because I feel like this is a big time. Like, even though um, this is a time we have to be careful with what relationship we're, we're jumping into. This is a big time for us to heal a lot of the um, emotional ups and downs that we experience that we experience when dealing with emotions, especially uh, when dealing. I said dealing with emotions when dealing with relationships and relating to other people, and especially like if, even if you are single, just the pursuit. You know, what I'm saying a lot of us um, get caught up in the pursuit, and the pursuit can be a very emotionally draining portion of the um, uh, relationship process and things of that nature. So you know, just be patient. Be patient. Don't get caught up in your pleasures. Don't let your pleasures rule you. Um, and just keep in mind that, you know, right now it's like, look, any emotional uh, emotional difficulties you, you are having, you have the power to change that shit right now. And it's going to take some work, you know what I'm saying, because emotions are very difficult to switch up and to, to, to heal from and to um, transform. But, you know, the more you put work and energy into it, the more results you'll get. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Just look, focus on your dream. Focus on your dream and get prepared. Get prepared by doing what it is that your dream entails. Like whatever your dream is, you should already be putting out shit. Or at least if you're not putting it out, at least preparing what you will put out for when the sun actually gets into Aries. And, you know, finally, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love all y'all. I appreciate all y'all coming and watching my videos. I appreciate y'all. I, I appreciate y'all existing for real. You know what I'm saying? Just because this life, man, this shit is precious. You know what I'm saying? It, and it can, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can be hectic. It can be annoying. It can be chaotic. It can be, it can be depressing. But, you know, at the same time, like, it, it can be the best shit in the world if you just make it that way you know what i'm saying it can make it could be a beautiful dream if you if you let it um so yeah and uh let me know if you need a moon transit reading uh artist rollout you know what i'm saying I, I do um all kinds of different things for entrepreneurs as well uh content creators you know i, I do uh graphics as well uh if you have a product you want to send me I, i've been using my camera a lot more i don't have it in the room with me but um you know if you want to get a commercial done um, you know, you can DM me or email me at DaveBeyond95 at gmail.com or MillviewMedia uh, at gmail.com and we can collab on some kind of commercial if you have a product you want advertised and, you know what I'm saying, I can make it look real nice and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, but we can chop it up about that. Um, if you need a creative consultation, you know what I'm saying, where we take your natal chart and basically I tap into your uh, natural uh, elemental energies and look, take a look at your North node and, you know, different alignments so that I can help you develop a business that can support what you're naturally into and also support your uh, spiritual path as well. You know what I'm saying? So we can do a consultation like that. Just email me, davebeyond95 at gmail.com. We can get that rocking. Um, 
and also the Esoteric Hustler Academy. Yeah, every season we going the fuck in. So you know what I'm saying, get prepared now. Um, you know what I'm saying, because we we going hard with it. You know what I'm saying, we going hard. We ain't holding back. This year I dipped my toe. I mean, yeah, this year I dipped my toe. Next year we we all in. So you know, let's get it. Um, yeah. So peace, much love, and I'll see you guys on the next one.